Hey everybody, it's old Duke, and I had something uh, important I wanted to share with you. At least I think it's important enough to share with uh, my viewers and subscribers. And uh, we've been catching rainwater. I told you to be quiet. But anyway, we've been catching rainwater for about six months, and we absolutely love it. And there's so many advantages to it that, that we do it all the time. And uh, in this box, there's a 100-gallon tank, and we, we can divert the water into the tank whenever we want to. And uh, in this top of this 100-gallon tank is this filter. And uh, it's a, this is a milk or a paint jug. And I just drilled enough holes in it where it handled any water that would come out of that gutter. And this is a, a one gallon strainer you can buy at any hardware store. It's for paint, a paint strainer. And it works pretty good. And you can see what little was left uh, in there from that, from the uh, 100 gallons that last run I made. So I'll, I'll clean it out and I'll put this back in there and I'll put it inside my top of my tank when when I get ready and this I got lucky this um, this uh, paint bucket fits tightly inside the top this wooden box is insulated with half inch styrofoam insulation on the inside and it's foil backed and so it's completely blacked out and I think that's one of the reasons why uh, we don't have any problem with algae and another reason another thing we don't have problems with uh, skier larvae is because I think the water is continually running as it goes into the top of the tank. Now, uh, over here, our garden, we have a rain catchment off the barn, and it's gravity fed through a hose to our garden. But we get skier larvae and algae in it, and I think that's primarily because, one, the, the uh, tanks aren't, <coughs> blacked out and the other is we just catch it in five gallon buckets, buckets and pour it into the storage tank and so I think we're getting larger that way so I'm going to modify my garden set up where I don't have those two problems alright but when we catch this you know one good rain will get this going good and we catch this my tank is full but anyway we I just cracked this open and this coffee filter, that's just a basket. And that uh, come out of a coffee maker. And this, I just cracked this open. And, and this coffee filter will do, will do. Yeah, leave it drip like that. And this coffee filter will do two of these jugs. Before it gets plugged up. And you'll never see the, you'll never see it in the filter. But it'll plug it up. And what I'll do is, I'll take this after I'm done. After I'm done with this, I'll cap it. And then I'll set it up. I'll set it up right here. And when I'm feeding, I'll bring these down from the house. I'm being sleepy. I'll bring these down from the house and then, uh, I'll uh, fill these up here. Now you keep in mind it's been strained and filtered with a coffee filter. I'll take these up to the house. And then I'll pour these into this uh, ceramic filter system that I have at the house. I showed you how to build these. And all this is is drill some holes in the bottom of the, the bottom pot. The, uh, lid it'll hold it in and I'll build a uh, drill a hole in the center of the bottom of the top pot and then uh, you're able to bolt the uh, filter in place and I left a link for you if you go visit that uh, that video and there's a link to the, those ceramic uh, filters and we we would rather drink this water than we would our well water and we love it it's refreshing and you don't have to ice it down but we'll keep these jugs once they're filtered once it's gone through the ceramic filter for, we'll, we'll keep these jugs in the summertime probably in, in the refrigerator because kids like it cold but 
you don't have to add any ice to it. It's just that refreshing, even at room temperature. I start all this just for an emergency, rainwater catchment just for emergency. And we got using the system and we like it so much that we use it all the time. I've got this five gallon pot. I, uh, I've cooked in it, boiled crawfish and so forth. But for uh, emergencies, for water, drinking water, it'll boil five gallons. It's, it'll probably hold five gallons. And, it'll, and my rocket stove I built will, will boil it in between 20 and 25 minutes. One stick of firewood, about 18 to 24 inches long, about that big around, will boil five gallons of water. So that's, we, we just think that's great. So I have that for emergencies. And then uh, at the same time we have drinking water, we, we feed our chickens. We feed our chickens and our rabbits. But I got to thinking in an emergency, they'd have to make their way down to the lake. And I'd have to bring from probably some lake water up from the rabbits. But we would save this for drinking water for ourselves. And I, when I bought that 100 gallon tank, I also got this 60 gallon. And I brought this down just to remind me to, to let y'all know the importance of, of a system like this being portable. Because we're going to move away from the rabbits and the chickens, it'd just be more sanitary. Uh, when I build my outdoor, my outdoor kitchen, it's going to be closer to my log house, and uh, and so we're really going to be fine-tuning this uh, system here at the homestead for our drinking water and our cooking outside and everything like that. So uh, we uh, we really do enjoy this drinking water, and, and I wanted to share with you. And Lord bless y'all, and we'll see you later.